Hey everybody, this is Jessica with the Five Waiting Wombs coming to you with this week's topic, which is what are some of your favorite things about being infertile and what were some of the happiest moments along your your fertility journey? You know, it's kind of hard to think about favorite things when there are things that you have to worry about like injections and pills and surgeries and procedures and appointments and yeah, but some of those things are my favorite things. I never in a million years thought that I'd be capable of giving myself an injection, let alone the hundreds that I have given myself. And that makes me feel strong, like superwoman, I can do this. One of my favorite things is that even though we've had 10 procedures fail on us, um, I still feel like I was in control because I was administering everything myself. My husband offered to do it. I wanted no part of it until we did our um, progesterone injections because I just can't bend that way. And he had to do them for me. Yeah, I just, I, f I feel, I feel empowered. Um, another favorite thing that infertility has brought to my attention that has confirmed for me was that there's nobody on this planet that I would rather go through this with than my husband. This is the man without a shadow of a doubt. This is my man. This is my soulmate. This is my one and only. I could never see going through any of this with anybody from my past or even looking forward to the future wanting to go through this with anybody else. He's a rock. He's faithful. He's strong. He's supportive. It just confirms everything that we promised to each other on our wedding day. Another thing that it's taught me is patience. Just being patient and waiting for things. I'm such a planner and I'm grateful that infertility and especially treatments have taken that away from me because it gets exhausting being a planner all the time. I'm grateful for that. It kind of took a little bit of the um, the pressure off me to plan things and to work things out. You know, as we all know, everything is subject to change, especially when you're under the care of a doctor. Um, there are absolutely no definites. So when there aren't definites, you really can't be a planner. Another favorite thing of mine is um, acupuncture. It's something that I had never done before. We did these past three IUIs that didn't work out, um, and it's something that I, ha I haven't I haven't done it in, in probably about a month. But it's just so wonderful to know that it's there. It's opened up, you know, it's opened up so much in in my life, and my body feels better. And I was doing this to aid me in you know in our fertility. Um, our, our fertility procedure that we were doing but the benefits to that even though we didn't achieve a pregnancy with the help of acupuncture the benefits of it were just so great and oh, my body felt terrific while we were doing it another thing that I think is pretty amazing is that um, we're all part of a wonderful community that I would not have been introduced to otherwise if I weren't infertile. And I find a lot of support and a lot of strength from you women and it makes me feel good to hopefully be showing you guys some of the same um, support and encouragement that you all have given me. On the same topic of the community, I just kind of watched the video over and wanted to throw this in here as well. All of those TMI questions that, you know, I'm not going to talk to my husband about, you know, <laughs> cervical mucus and, and, you know, breast tenderness. It's like I go right to YouTube and try to find a video on it. And if I don't, I just ask somebody. And, um, yeah, you guys are all great for the TMI stuff. Thanks. I think my absolute most favorite thing that ever happened to me and my husband on our fertility journey was getting our BFP and becoming the parents of an amazing son. I thank 
my lucky stars. I thank God every single day. I thank the doctors every single day. It was the best moment of my life. Another one of my most favorite things um, that I have experienced on this journey is meeting wonderful doctors and nurses and the support that I get from the doctors that we're using right now. Um, I even feel the same way about the doctor that we had no success with. This is our, you know, we're on our second specialist right now. And I really feel that um, without them and without the, the, the availability of the IVF nurses and the nurses there at Long Island IVF, I would be lost. They have talked me down off of many a ledge when I didn't know what the heck I was doing, if I forgot what dosage I had to take. They're very calm, they have a wonderful bedside manner, and I've never really met any other doctors or nurses like that. So I'm going to end this video to you guys with a suggestion. Maybe you just got a BFP. Maybe you just got a BFN. Maybe you just finalized an adoption. Maybe you and your partner decided that you're going to take a break and you're just not going to try for right now. No matter where you are on your journey, sit down right now, get a pen and a paper, or open up a Word document, and just jot down all of the things that you're grateful for. Better yet, why don't you turn on your webcam, record a video response to this video or to any of the girls' videos, and tell us what you're grateful for, what you're thankful for. Have a good week, everybody.